welcome, welcome, welcome to this, the first video on my channel. I'm so excited to be starting this, this channel, this let's play, this book talk, this amalgamation of different things. I just, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. And I hope to talk about what my visions are for the channel in this video. But for now, let's just get right into the game. Paper Mario, the Origami King just came out yesterday. Uh, starting recording today, I'm so excited. I've seen a little bit, I haven't uh, played uh, that much. I played like the first two minutes of the game, so just kind of the intro bit and walking around. But let's just jump into it. First impressions here, let's go. Isn't this great, bro? Back on the road again together and getting to some kind of festival. <laughs> what did the invitation say again? An origami festival? What's that gonna be like? And I can't wait to say hello to the princess. It's -a been a while. Ah, yes, there we go into the great unknown. So, uh, full disclosure, I haven't played any of the previous Paper Marios. I don't know if this one's great or not. I mean, I've heard mixed reviews. Uh, but, I mean, it looks cool. I, I like the paper aesthetic. I know a lot of people uh, kind of don't like Nintendo for jumping into the paper aesthetic instead of going into more RPG styles, but we'll see. Maybe I really enjoy this game. Uh, Here we are. Toad Town. And there's... Peach's castle. It's a kinda empty, bro. Where did everybody go? <laughs> Just all alone. Don't be such a wimp, Luigi. <laughs> Where is everybody? Don't you think we missed it, do you? You don't think we missed it? Mario, check the invitation again. When were we supposed to be here? Ah, I got, I got the nice princess. Let's see if I can do 64 voice. Oh, let's see. You're invited to an origami festival in fabulous Toad Town. Date, uh, hug, hug, kiss, kiss, Peach. <laughs> I like to imagine that Peach maybe just doesn't know what dates are. She's like, oh, just, you know, throw some hugs and kisses in there. It'll be good. Don't know what I mean. If you want hugs and kisses, you come. Well, it's the right day. You think they're still getting things ready? Let's go check the castle. Maybe everybody's inside. Yeah, I know a lot of people are disappointed that they don't have, like, true partners and maybe the battle system isn't like uh, a Thousand Year Door or uh, Paper Mario for 64, but I've never experienced those things. I mean, I guess I, I would like some more original characters, and I, I did read that interview saying that they're kind of shying away from original characters because it feels like it's kind of deviating too far from the... Mario universe, but I don't know, that's just, it doesn't seem like a good excuse to me, but I don't know, I'll take it, I guess. I like the, the castle looks good, very nice, that's very nice. Here we are, Peach's castle. I'm gonna park the cart, okay? I don't wanna tip the valet. Wow, jeez, Luigi is a cheapskate. Come on, Luigi. Tip the man. Everybody needs a tip. <laughs> Look at those stupid hands. I'm not even holding the steering wheel. Thinking dr driving with the back of his hands. Luigi. You nut. Uh, Luigi, you don't even know how to drive. Sorry for the wait, bro. Let's go see the princess. Oh, 
this mean? I don't want to see the princess, Luigi. Every time we try to see the princess, there's always some kind of trouble. I'm tired of saving that filthy, filthy woman. Let's just leave. <laughs> Live our simple lives as plumbers. Fat plumber can only take so much from giant turtles. <laughs> Let's see here. Pretty sure this is the intro that we saw in the trailers. Probably. It's kind of spooky in here, isn't it? And where is everybody? I'd expect to see at least one toad by now. Oh, don't be such a wimp, Luigi. Mamma mia! I forgot our gift in the cart. I'll just dash over and get it. Yes. Uh, do my bidding, Luigi. Do all the work. <laughs> It's not going out. I don't like that. How am I gonna get outside when the door is locked? Don't worry, Mario. I know just what to do in these situations like this. You just uh, gotta find the Mario. Alright, Mario? Wait, what? So, oh, <laughs> he just comes to us for pro with his problems. I see how it is. Oh. I found you, Mario. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take a deep breath and go find the key to this door. That's what you do, right? Tell the princess I'll be right there if you see her first, okay? Bye bye. Let's go. <laughs> oh, just like that. Stupid, stupid brother. Can't do anything on his own. Wow, Mario is slow in this game. There's no like faster running speed, is there? Woo wee! I'm guessing that's the princess. Mario, is that you? Bum, bum, bum. There she is, Origamified. The zombie version of this game, I guess. How? Good to see you. Answer me this. Shouldn't the Mushroom Kingdom unfold and be refolded unto glory? Well, sure. I don't see why not. Why not? Yeah. Let's do it. It already looks pretty folded to me. And what of those toads? Shouldn't they be silenced for all eternity? Now... Start messing with my toads now. Now you're taking it too far. You know what I'm saying? Your yeah, toad, it's, it's got a pure soul. You can't be folding up toads. Come on, princess, you know better than this. I see. Last question. Will you crease yourself and be reborn like me? Now, let's be realistic here. Mario, stinking, is simping for Princess Peach. Does anything for the princess. So of course you would. Yes, of course. Of course, a princess. I'd do anything for you. Even in your crazy goodness. Wrong answer. Right answer matters not. Your replies are all paper thin. Because oh. it doesn't matter what you choose. Goodbye. I mean, what did I expect, really? She was aching to throw us in that pit. Mario! Always gotta make a flashy entrance, huh? Are you here for the Origami Festival too? This dungeon-themed waiting lounge is a huge upgrade from the last festival I attended. Very classy. You ain't seen the master Bowser anywhere, have you? It ain't like the big lug to leave us minions hanging at a public event. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of voices eventually. Whoa, Mario. You're here. I'm a, I'm a big fan, or, I mean, I've, I've always wanted to battle you, even if I get stomped. It, it, it would be an honor. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, this is all so exciting. First I see the Princess Peach, and, and now you. 
I gotta say, the princess was a little different than I expected. Less, uh, lifelike. You tell me where the princess is or I stomp on your stupid head! Come with us. These creepy little shy guys. Yeah! Oh, what's next? I've never seen a toad before. Please tell me it's a toad. Does he does he think the shy guys are toads or Oh, he's going to see a toad? He's never seen a toad before. Not you. Ah, hope you don't have to wait too long, Mario. I'll say hi to Toad for you. Well, there go those stupid minions. Uh, who is this? Mario, is that you? Oh, this is Olivia. That's right. Forget you get her this early. It's kind of weird. I need your help. I'm I'm in a very strange place. It's cramped and dark, almost like I'm in between dimensions or something. I'm not sure if I should be amazed or scared, but I'm kind of both. I don't know. It's I'm, I'm bipolar. I don't know what to feel. <laughs> if it's not too much trouble, I'd like to get out now, please. Is there any way you can help? And you also get the thousandfold arms right here. What was that? Did something light up at your feet? Is it a magic circle? Wow, for being stuck in between dimensions, she's pretty good at knowing what's happening. That's good, I think. I mean, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with it. Can you try to use it somehow? One thousand fold arms activate! Wow! Slamming! That, that sounded good! Are her arms all big and foldy now? Yes, those beautiful big foldy arms! <laughs> Wrap those pythons around me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've heard all about this! I think those are called the 1,000 fold arms. Try feeling around a bit. Maybe you can help me escape from this strange dimension. If it feels like the arms are off center and out of control, maybe try pressing R to reset them. Yeah, see, I, I hate when Mario characters do that. They just like tell you instructions. You know, to, I don't know. When they put it in the dialogue, it's kind of weird. I like Breath of the Wild style where they just have a little instruction bar that you can ignore if you want to and just figure out the game yourself. Wow, I'm free from that weird in-between dimension. Oh, was was I just stuck in that wall? Oh, uh, yeah. You must be Mario. My name's Olivia. You'd probably like to know a lot more about me and why I was trapped like that, huh? Not really. But I don't think we really have time for that now. Maybe we should just get out of here. There's just one thing. I'm not exactly fleet of foot. Fleet of foot? Mind if I hitch a ride? She could... What? She, she's floating. She was, does she even have feet? Is that what those little brown things are? But <laughs> Just fly around. Come on. Trying to do like a Luma sort of cappy kind of situation there. Ah, yes. The hammer of power. I have finally got it! Got time to destroy everything in sight. <laughs> oh, whoa, what'd you find? It looks big and smashy. Maybe try pressing B and see what happens. See, that kind of stuff. Like, when they're telling you, like, the buttons and stuff. I don't know. Just a, a little bit's okay, but I, I don't know. I mean, it's a Mario, or a, you know, a Nintendo game. I don't know what I expect. It's just that... I don't know. You, you know? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I feel like I just had a pretty good idea. I don't know if they'll always be good ideas, but I'm always happy to share them with you. <laughs> Why don't you try pressing X if you're stuck, and I'll see if I can think of something useful. She, not, she better not be like this the whole time. Just giving us just a little clippy from Microsoft. Who knows? Maybe we'll get to know each other and... Make a great team. Is that how these things go? Is that, that that was his name, right? Clippy or something? Paperclip dude? I don't know. It's just that kind of thing. 
kids nowadays, I feel like maybe back in the day when video games were new and kids were trying to figure stuff out, like how to save and stuff like that, maybe it was needed. But now you can just, kids grew up on this kind of stuff. Like even, even I did a little bit, not as much as kids nowadays, but they grow up on this kind of stuff and they know what's going down. They can figure games out, I think. I don't know, maybe I'm giving kids too much credit. I've, I've met some pretty dumb kids. <laughs> okay, I'm getting my bearings. I think we might be in the castle dungeon. Dungeons smell like this place, right? I uh, kiss so. Okay. Just a worthless little corridor. Bowser. Hey! Knock it off! Save the Bowser, our mortal enemy. Uh, good guy, Mario. I can see what you're about to do to my minion, and I order you to cut it out. Wow. <laughs> Man, that's some real culty crap. And create you a new in the light of the reading bowl. <laughs> Is that a stapler? Is that one of the enemies we're fighting? <laughs> one of the bosses? I guess that's one of the other things that people don't like is the stationary bosses. The Legion of Stationary. I don't know. I'll have to see. Maybe they got good dialogue. What did you see? Nothing terrifying, I hope. That was the... Oh, no. <laughs> Wrong person. That was the last of them. There they go. Except for the mustachioed one. That's a good word. Mustachioed. I am uh, the mustachioed gentleman. Okay, maybe I have time to explain one little thing. Those stiff looking guys are called folded soldiers. I don't want to alarm you, but they're unbelievably dangerous. I think we should try to avoid them. What do you think they meant by that was the last of them anyway? The last what? The last flat person in the world. Hey, there's a Bowser. Mario, you're here too? What are you waiting for? Get me down from this thing. Even you know this is no way to treat royalty. Royalty? Oh, nice to meet you. Is everyone in your kingdom also a face? Wow. Olivia coming right out the gate swinging. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got a body too. Those folded jerks just bent it in ways that I won't describe in detail right now. Oh, they touched me in places. <laughs> It seemed worse, believe me. <laughs> Is that a reference to Mario? <laughs> Mario's just standing there awkwardly like, Uh, it wasn't my fault, you were acting like a jerk. Never mind that. I'm the great King Bowser, and I demand to be set free and unfolded. Now, Mario, ignore your floating friend and get me down from here. Bowser commands you. Shut up. I would do the same for you. You need me as much as I need you. Admit it! I don't know about that. Is, is Bowser even... Is he a companion in this game? I don't know. I know he played a pretty big role in the other games, from what I hear. Plus, I can tell you a secret after you free me. No one can resist a good secret. Wahaha! Hmm. I don't know. Secrets hurt people. Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets can hurt someone. No, he's like pulling a bandage halfway off. Oh, <laughs> I'm not torching him. Yeah. Feel the pain of Bowser. You will never feel joy in your life again. <laughs> Let's get him out of here. Where do they go? Oh, 
Foldy still. Oh, kind of thought I'd just unfold or something. Bah, no matter. Now, as for that secret I promised to tell you, there's a hidden exit in this room. I heard those jerks talking about it. I was eating no good body folding jerks. Now, hurry up and find it. I'll let, I'll let you bring me along when you escape. Yeah, right, Bowser, like I need you. Aw. Haha. That's what you get. Bam. A slam, bam, in a can. Thousand fold arm. Gotta be this bit, right? Yes. See? Wahaha! Where would you be without me? Probably sippy tea with the princess. You're really getting the hang of those thousand fold arms, Mario. Right, let's get out of here. I'm tired of the dungeons. This is the point where I. Uh, like, I remember people hitting it and then she says stuff. Yeah, see, she kind of tells you that you need to save. Like, obviously, that's what just happened. It said saving on the bottom. I can figure that out. Please, just let me play the game. I'm not going to read that kind of stuff. There's instruction deals you y'all can read for yourselves. Y'all probably know what's going on. Don't need the game to tell you. Come on. I'm a grown man. I'm 22 years old. Nobody makes Bowser walk on his face. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Get, get on out of here. Get on out. Get on out of here. Wahoo! <laughs> I wish you could just like jump off and. Princess is like, Mario! Mario! Wait! But, oh, okay. This is dead. Why are you still so flat? Why haven't you joined me in folded glory? Come. We can reshape you. And that is King Ollie. I know. So he's, he looked kind of emo to me. We'll give him an emo voice. Oh, patience, princess. This will do just fine. So you're Mario, Princess Peach's hero, right? Yes. You'll do quite well. Very crisp, bright colors. I can see it now. So what do you say? Will you volunteer your paper body to the cause? Or will we have to get grumpy? Join us. Yes or no? What? I'm not joining your emo army. Get out of here, son. Get out of here. Come on. Ah, I expected nothing less. To be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way. Take a good look at Princess Peach. She's better this way, don't you think? No need to answer. You'll soon feel the power of origami for yourself. Folded soldier, come forth! Oh, is that our buddy? Oh, It's our Goomba buddy. They folded him up. I've never seen a folded soldier like that, Mario. Does it look like one of your flat paper friends? I never got to see Toad. Aww. I'll show you a Toad. Prepare to be folded. Aw, oh, man. I have to kill him? <laughs> oh man. He's so happy to meet us, too. I love you, Mario. I I'd be stunned by you, no problem. Oh, well, I guess we're doing him a favor. Actually, now that I think about it. I'm not reading her dialogue, it's just telling us how to fight these. Hey, did you catch that first message? It said some of the waves got all uh, somehow splashed on. Yes, we have uh, actually at the <laughs> sea world. Here comes the Shamu! Just focus on these enemies for now, Mario. 
You're surrounded by four soldiers, huh? Where did the other three come from? They all attack at once, you'll just get a real pummeling. This looks rough! Hey, I just had a great idea! If you land all four on me, good, good. Yes, I know, the bonus. Oh my goodness, they even got little circles. Oh yeah, these rings will let us move our enemies, so you say, oh, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Yes, yes. There we go. <laughs> now she's gonna tell me to stomp on their dumb little heads. Dumb little mushroom. Are they mushrooms? Uh, wait, so if are the Goombas mushrooms and then also the toads are mushrooms? They're like a different species of mushrooms, but are they like related somehow? Could, could they be married and like have like a half mushroom, half goom? You know what? I, I don't want to think about it. Let's cut that line of thought off right there. Oof. I'm sure there's some kind of fan art like that. Oh, stop. Okay. Okay, stomp them with the boots. And the boots. Get that bonus. Yeah. Excellent. Ah, yes. I know. I know. Thank you, game. I could always use the affirmation. Well, this world famous Mario Jumps don't disappoint. He took out all four Goombas with a single jump attack. Woohoo! The enemy lining up with enemies is totally worth the effort. Oh, goodbye, Bullet Sellers. Oh, this is where they show us how to use the hammer. Oh, that's why they call it a weight battle. I really wanted to see Shamu, but uh, whatever. Just, just look at this. It's okay. Last one. Hammer attack time. It's hammer time. Okay. Hey, it's shorter, wider. Yeah. Let me move the Shagash, please. I would now like to move the Shagash, if I may. Please. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I approve of this. Alright, let's get to doing some hammering. It's hammering time, baby! Uh, Woohoo! Yes, I know. I can select. Thank you. Ah, uh, here we go! Bam! Excellent! Excellent. You just say excellent, because I said excellent. <laughs> you see that blop? Ah, satisfying attack! Do you all get that reference? Meet, meet the Robinsons. It's a good movie. I haven't watched them in a long time. I watched it a lot when I was little, though. I remember I actually got that movie. Uh, we had this thing in my class. So you've defeated the first Goomba. Bravo. I assure you, it is far from the deadliest creature in this realm. I suppose there's no point in maintaining this charade. Wait, charade? Nah, he'd say charade. You know he would. Charade any longer. So I had, in my class, I don't know. I think a lot of elementary schools kind of do this thing where they reward students for like not being bad or being good so he's, he's got the hair and everything for being emo brother Man, i can't talk <laughs> you interrupted me. no it can't be i didn't want you to believe it would could be you how many times did i tell you to stop please you have to stop now why couldn't mario simply left you in the wall where i put you Sister, if you stand in my in the way of my ambition, I'm afraid you will not share my glory as family. Oh, and by the way... Oh, see, so did the hair flip. <laughs> I am no longer your brother, Ollie. I am Lord Darth. Wait, what's a good email? Dark Rider. <laughs> Dark Shadow. I am King Ollie, Lord of Darkness. By the time I am done, all those folded, miserable to or all those toads, all those miserable toads will be folded 
Yeah. They're not moving yet. I'm gonna fold them. A flimsy paper millions of Bowser shall be reborn as loyal folded soldiers serving me. And I shall fold, crease, and bend the entire paper world to my whim. The birth of a new origami kingdom. Oh! Lasers! So anyway, yeah, I think a lot of classes had this. Where, for us, it was fishies. So, like, if you're good, you collect fishies. And you keep the fishies until, like, the end of, like, a certain period. And then she'd have, like, rewards for us to, like, buy or, like, bid on with fishies. And I, I wasn't very good in elementary school, so I only had, like, five fish. And my friend Dara had, uh, uh, she had a lot more. And I don't know, I, I was kind of a jerk. I made this deal because she wanted the, what was it? I don't remember. Well, anyway, I made this deal with one of the students that uh, she would... She would get the Meet the Robinsons DVD, which was one of the prizes, and she wanted uh, one of those like glow-in-the-dark star stickers that you put on your ceiling. <laughs> I made this horrible deal that if she got the Meet the Robinsons for me, I would get her the star stickers that nobody wanted. Honestly, she could have gotten both. I think was she being nice or was she like not that smart as a kid? I don't know. But everyone else was like, why would you do that? And the teacher was like, it's, you know, she can do it if she wants. It's her her fishies. So I got Meet the Robinsons. <laughs> I cheated a friend out of Meet the Robinsons. I don't know. Ugh. You see that? Bowser just stinking took off. We saved his butt and then he doesn't care. Oh, is this us? Come on. Come on, Bowser. I know you're evil, but come on. You can save me just, well, just the once like you promised. Confetti. Go pick it up. No. Nope. Uh, okay. But I didn't have Olivia before. How did I do it before? I can't get to my own. Watch out! Oh, it's Olivia. Unless you can fold like me, I'd be careful over there, Mario. Do you see that huge hole in the ground? I don't think you'd like falling into it. Maybe there's a way to fix it, but how? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. Catch this. Ooh, got hit in the head. Come on. See those colorful scraps of paper that showered out of the tree when you fell? That's confetti. Everything here is made of paper, of course. Every little bit of confetti is a tiny piece of our world. That's why I think if you gather enough confetti and sprinkle it on that hole, it might just fix the problem. Yes, I see it. Yes, okay. I will do the thing you ask. I will do this thing you ask. Yes, I'll rescue you. Rescue me, please. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to rescue me a lot. I'm sorry, I'm worthless. Well, I guess she goes us there. I, I don't know. I've heard a lot of people at this point. I don't know if I like her that much. Uh, yeah. Okay. But you know, I'm gonna fill up the bag some more. I want. I want it all the way. I know that green hue gets gets even greener. I don't know, if, if she keeps doing this thing where she's like telling me what to do all the time, you know, it's going to be a little annoying. But I've heard people say that she actually, like, her character develops pretty well. So I'm, I'm anxious to see that, that side of her. It should be fun. I don't know. So anyway, as I mentioned in the beginning, this is the first video in my channel. If you haven't noticed, you can look. Look, there's nothing else around. And yeah, so I have no other videos. I'm going to be try to I don't know. I'm going to be trying to upload every day. I don't know if that's exactly going to work. My internet here sucks. So it might just take like 6 hours to upload even this video. We're already at 
uh, like 30 minutes. Probably gonna have to cut it once we get to Toad Town. But my whole plan for this channel is, I don't know, I watch a lot of Let's Plays. I love YouTube. I've been watching it since I was a kid. Dunkey was probably the first YouTuber that I followed, and then PewDiePie, of course. Come on. Come on. Floor game. Right? Am I right? Yeah. And then... Whoosh! Zing! <laughs> Kapow! Uh, plork! <laughs> Running out of sounds! <laughs> Alright. So... Whoosh! Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, I enjoy YouTube, and... But sometimes I get kind of tired of people just, well, I guess doing what I've done so far is just kind of making noises, being loud. I mean, that's that's funny and all, and and I I do enjoy that sometimes. I think there's a proper place for that. But I don't know. I th I think there. There, there's sometimes there's like huge gaps, especially if like it's a let's play. You're just sitting there and you're you know, watching them say nothing or just making noises like beep boop beep. And uh, that, that can get a little annoying after a while, especially if you watch several hours of a let's play. So, phew, that's much better. Thank you. So what I'm thinking is I, I'd love to talk about books because I love reading. I read so much. Where are we? Snowing around to ask for directions. This could be a problem. Seems like all we can do is explore this area a bit. I don't know how much I'll help I'll be, but I'll always be here to chat if you press X. I'll do my best. Press X, huh? Oh, thank you for calling on me. It's my first hint. Now for an actual hint. Um, uh, grass is green. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like to think that she's like way into conspiracy theories and like every time you call her, she's like... Um, did you know that the, the Jews actually faked the moon landing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. It's quiet here. Too quiet, maybe. Let's find a way out of here. So, like I was saying, I, I really love reading. And I think even even PewDiePie had, like, his, his book review. And I think he did a good job. But I think maybe some people, especially, like, the younger audience, didn't really, you know, get into it just because... You know, it's just talking, and people sometimes don't like that. They like to be visually stimulated. Woohoo! Uh, that means my brother is already folding the whole world to its whims. This is bad news. Especially, like, in YouTube, people want to see stuff. I mean, people have podcasts. But, I don't know, they don't seem to be as popular... Or, you know, they, they don't reach as broad of an audience, I don't think. So I thought, wow, I love reading. I could just talk about it during a Let's Play. Uh, and I think that would be super fun. And, it, you know, it, it's not going to be anything extensive. It's just going to be me talking about the book I'm reading and, you know, kind of moving along together. It won't be like one episode is, is a... You know, one episode is a book. It'd be more like the book is spanned across different episodes. And th there might be times where I don't talk about the book, or maybe I mention it just in passing. It's not going to be like anything super strict. But I think it'd be nice just to, uh, like, when there's moments like this where there's not much going on. Well, we, I could soak this view up all day long. I mean, it's just. Look at the top of the mountain. It's so. Wait, what is that? That's the outer crust? The wall? <laughs> the outer crust? Okay, that's a weird way to say it. That's the outer crust of Peach's castle, isn't it? Oh, it's because it's a cake thing? I don't know. I would bake a cake for you. Did I? So my brother's streamer is wrapping around it, lifting it into the air. Oh, there it is, all the way up there. Yep. And then it was gone. Wait, there it is. See? Way up top of that distant mountain, it's still wrapped up tightly with all those streamers. My brother could still be in there with Princess Peach. Oh, he's probably just plotting away. I'm gonna stop you, brother. As your sister, it's my duty. <laughs> duty. <laughs> oh, 
Speaking of brothers, um, I saw a green hat falling into the hole where that castle used to be. I'm so sorry. The green hat was related to your hat, wasn't it? Yes. It's uh, my brother. Oh, I just knew I was right about that hat. This is a big problem. It might be good to hurry back to where it fell and see what's going on. Oh, and we should look for your brother while we're at it. I hope he's okay, too. Yeah, so I think talking about books, you know, it'd be fun, too. It, it kind of... It's another story. Like, the whole... I think one of the great things about humanity is that we're able to tell stories. And pretty much everything that we do is stories. Like, even if you think about it, science is stories. Like, very few people studying... Like, I've studied science. I'm, I'm pre-med, so I'm not saying this out of complete ignorance. Uh, I actually graduated just recently. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But it's... Uh, ooh, whispering into woods. Like, even science, if you think about it, is just stories that we tell. Like, they're more... Uh, like systematized stories, they're, they're, uh, you know, they have an order and they have a logic, whereas other stories are more fantastical, but they're still stories because, like, I know they're factual in that sense, but most people don't experience the rules of science firsthand, or at least a lot of them, you know, like relativity is not intuitive, you know, Thermodynamics is not super intuitive, you know, or well, rules of medicine. Like, there's a lot of discovery that has to go into it, but not everybody has the time to sing and do a bunch of research, you know? So, we tell stories about, look, this is a story of how somebody else, what somebody else discovered. The story of the human body or the universe. So, and it's the same way. We just tell stories all the time, and I think that's beautiful. Video games are a means of, of telling stories. One of my favorites. Books. I love books. You know, fiction and nonfiction. They tell us stories. Art. It's, it's beautiful stuff. So, I think being able to combine two stories, books and video games that aren't typically... Two types of stories that aren't typically combined. You know, I think... I don't know. Maybe it's a... Uh, a uh, niche market. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I tapping into something, something no one else has tapped into. Here I come, PewDiePie. He won't know what hit him. <laughs> uh... Yeah. So I, you know, I think that'd be a good thing. I'll, I'll probably start with the the next episode. You know, like I said, it's not going to be anything super serious. But I was thinking the first book I'm reading now, there's it's a book called uh, La Guerra del Fin del Mundo, or in English, uh, The War of the End of the World. And it's written by Mario Vargas Llosa. And it's a, it's a pretty interesting book so far. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, that was a hundred. And I think maybe you'd like it. I don't know. We'll talk about it. I haven't, I, I haven't finished it, so might suck. <laughs> but you know, if you want to read along with me, you could get the book and read it first, or read along with me. I'm, I'm only, I've only read the first three chapters, three or four chapters so far. But I'll be talking about that. I can talk about Mario Vargas Llosa. He's actually Peruvian, just like I am. Fun fact. And yeah, so I, and it's Mario. I, coincidentally, <laughs> Mario and Mario. It's perfect. It's perfect. So yeah, so th that's the book I'll be talking about. You know, casually. I think it'll be fun. Yes, I saw this. I'm gonna get you treasure chase. Ooh. That's a that's a nice little model there. Get out of my way! It's running out! I'll collect all of them! Oh, 
Yeah, and just because I'm like, you know, reading books and stuff, doesn't mean I don't like to have a good time. I mean, even at home, I am a complete goofball. Well, I mean, you've probably already seen some of that. Oh, shoot. I thought it was full. Blah. It's okay. Just to wipe it off. Yeah, so I think it'll be good. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Ah, just can't hide it. Faded fire flower. So sad. Oh, was that where? Yeah, yeah, that's where I put the fire flowers and all the business. Oh, that wilty mushroom and all that. What's going on here? Let's go forever. Just like different things pop in there. Is that Birdo? A Birdo! Don't shoot your eggs at me! Is that what she's shooting is eggs? It always looked like eggs. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, getting a little steamy in here. <laughs> ah, yes. She seems like a lot of weird stuff is happening. It's a weird stinging nose monster. Oh, I gotta get that money. That the moolah. I gotta get that money. Get the cash. Oh, it looks like a. Uh, is that a thing from another game? I don't know. It's like the Super Smash Brothers. That ball that you get sometimes. Present. Oh. Oh snap! Pop out anywhere, I guess. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Present for me. Oh. A shriveled seed. Man, everything's shriveled around here. For lack of water. Water, please. Water. I need some uh, refreshment. More little shiny thousand fold arm dealies. Uh, I guess not. Oh, my name's Sam, by the way. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> that might be a good thing to mention. Welcome to Random Rash. My name's Sam. Here at the end of this video. <laughs> Uh, ooh, got some Lost Woods kind of deal going on here, huh? Oh, I see. Uh, does it feel like we're not really getting anywhere? Mm, sometimes when the folding gets tough, I like to take a break to clear my head. You know, we'll just sit down somewhere nice and flat. Perfect lighting. Thing's alive, isn't it? I think I saw that in the trailer. He's alive! Ah, uh, yes. Ah, such a... Wah! Hey! Who's there? He's old, right? Yeah, he's an old, old stumpman. Ooh. Sassy. 
Uh, you can't sit on old grandpappy's head, mister. Oh, is it cool? Yes. Uh, that's right. He's the elder of this forest. Show some respect. Got twigs older than you. Oh, so what if he's been logged by those tasty little toads? He's still the man, honey. Say tasty little toads. Did I read that right? Or was that wrong? Thank you, darling. Or wait. Thank you, darlings. Bless your bark. <coughs> hey, you young man. Go back and tell your flat paper friends what a state I'm in. I've hardly the hard words to speak, let alone learn you some manners. <coughs> Heck. Tell him, Grandpappy. Oh, Grandpappy, he's been in the same since they... Hasn't been the same since they cut him down. Uh, that's why he's mad at y'all. I don't remember what voices I give him. Flat people folks cutting down good trees in their prime. It's shame on you. Oh, and by the way, you need Grandpappy's permission if you ever plan on leaving, hon. So now that you're here, you better get comfy. Because you're going to be here forever. Forever? Forever and ever. Forever and ever. I think that means a really long time, and I can't deal with that. Ah! Um, Mr. Grandpappy, we're not with those flat people, paper people who did this to you. Actually, I'm not even flat paper. I'm origami. I swear. Oh, origami, you say. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Well, if what you say is true, then perhaps you may be of some assistance to me. If you can find a way to restore my energy, I may just let you two leave this place. That's so wonderfully... Oh, wait. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, got a frog in my throat. That's so wonderfully generous of you, truly. I only wish we knew how to restore your energy. I got the seed. Anyway, we're in a hurry ourselves, so we'll do our best to help. I guess if you're gonna help Grandpappy, we'll let you wander around a bit. Yes, let me wander. <laughs> There you go, child. Now you can be on your merry way. Long the mountain. Just don't go wandering too far. You gotta find some, find us something called the soul seed. You see, that's the only thing that can help old Grandpappy get his energy back. And it's shriveled. So I'm guessing the lake is over here. <laughs> the lake of magic. Wait, is it the... The fountain of youth? <gasps> Mario's a millionaire now! A um, mustache alert! Oh, save that biz. I'm gonna be rich! I have found eternal life! Do you. Do any of you like keep getting. Aw, oh, flip. Come on, man! Pop out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do any of you keep getting like these news articles of like, like I've just I always see them of like oh scientists think they found a gene that you know like elongates life or regenerates youth or something. <laughs> I've been seeing these for like the past several years, and I always wonder what happens. You know, they never put articles out that are oh uh, scientists' idea flops. You know. <laughs> Every time it's like, oh, there's promise, there's something good. We're gonna live forever now. Is it technically possible? I don't know, I guess. It seems like it could be. But, I mean, it's gotta be so many different factors that go into making somebody young. I mean, it's, it's gotta be a lot, right? Like, it's gotta be genes, it's gotta be proteins, maybe even, you know, one area that's been not studied as well is... Uh, your microbiome. There's gotta be some something going on there. Oh, woo -woo -wee. I got you, Tote or Goombus. I got you. Got you good. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's like it's 
it's technically possible, but it's a ways out there. I, I just don't think, even if we found out what it was that needed to change, I think our technology to change it is just not there yet. I don't, unfortunately. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I wouldn't mind living for a couple hundred years. You know, I've, a lot of people are thinking like, oh, you know, like, why would you want to live that long? Or, you know, maybe not a lot of people, some people. I guess a lot of people do want to live longer. I'm not necessarily scared of death. Like, that doesn't bother me. I work as an EMT. I see death a lot. And, you know, it's, it happens. And it's it's tragic. And I wish it didn't happen. But, wow, what a, what a dark conversation to be having <laughs> during a Goomba battle. But, no, I, like, I wish it didn't happen. But, what are you going to do at this point? And, and if I lived a long time, it's not because I'm trying to avoid death. It's more because there's, like, things I want to experience. There's, you know, if I die, I die, and it's unfortunate. But, you know, I want to travel. Ain't got the muns to travel. But someday, someday, it's possible. And, you know, I want to experience. I want to read more. I want to play more games. There's games coming out, like... Ghosts of Tsushima? I mean, I'd probably be, pl be playing that if I weren't playing this. And if, I, if I had a PS4. <laughs> but I wasn't going to buy a PS4 just to play Ghosts of Tsushima. I, I had my uh, roommate back in college. I, gra I just graduated this year during Corona time. Am I, am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I think you are. Uh, I don't know. Uh, corona of the Sun time. That's what I meant. Protect myself. It's Corona of the Sun because it's beautiful and there's comets and yeah. Uh, 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 the difficult times we're in. The uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to say that. I, I know I heard something about YouTubers like having to refrain from mentioning the situation we're in. The uh, attack of uh, tiny Goombas into our system. <laughs> the Tana Goomba attack. That's what I'm gonna call it. So, I just graduated in the midst of all this. And, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my roommate had a PS4. And, uh, I played like Bloodborne and some other games on his PS4, so I never like felt the need to buy one, because the games I was really interested in, like he'd let me play on his. Uh, but now that I'm not, don't have a PS4 to goof around on, I can't play Ghost of Tsushima! <laughs> it looks so good! I was just watching PewDiePie play it. It looks like so much fun, and this that open world looks beautiful. Like, this game looks good in its papery aesthetic, but my goodness, that has nothing on that game. That game is gorgeous. It's like right up there with, I guess, The Last of Us 2. Not, you know, visually. I don't know about gameplay. It's been a little mixed gameplay, but... Oh shoot, you can't go back. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna get the PS5, so uh, hang tight for that. If you wanna see some PS5 gameplay. I'm huge on uh, Dark Souls and Soulsborne series, so once uh, once that comes out, I think the the Demon Souls, I should say, once the Demon Souls comes out, whew, I'm gonna be playing that. You can expect it. I'm gonna be loving playing that. <laughs> oh, uh, no, nah, I don't want to fight you. Just kidding. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, <I> gotcha. <laughs> All right. Did I mention this music's super good? <laughs> music's awesome. Would all the Paper Mario's have music this good? Man, it's got like a trumpets, man. I played the trumpet for several years, man. This is fun stuff. Okay. 
Yeah, excited for what other PS5 games am I excited for? Well, I haven't I've never played Horizon Zero Dawn, so I don't is, is it backwards compatible with PS4 games though? So uh, I might just like play Horizon Zero Dawn on my own time and then uh, record the second one. What else was looking good? Oh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. That looks super good. I I also like I said I, I haven't. I, the only games that I played on my roommate's PS4 was Bloodborne and you know, Battlefield. Uh, I can't remember. I played some other stuff. But he didn't have Spider-Man, but that game looked good, so I kind of want to test out the new one. I'm just the, the console looks cool to me. I don't know a lot of people, you know, have mixed feelings about it. I think it looks cool, and I don't know. I thought about getting an Xbox, but I don't know. We're gonna have to see. I haven't been seeing that many exclusives that I'm interested in. I played Halo back in the day with my cousin, but I don't know. Just Halo hasn't been what it, you know, what it used to be. So. PlayStation is just looking mighty tempting, mighty tempting right now. <laughs> my whole life, actually, I think I've only ever owned Nintendo consoles. Yeah. Oh wait, is this the lake? Yes. Just check. Just throw that seed in there. Throw I think I... Don't you think we should try throwing something in there? Yes, I do! I've only ever owned a Nintendo console. In 64, I had Game Boy Color, and... Never had a GameCube. I had a Wii, just like everybody else in the world. Uh, Switch. <laughs> What's going on? Did you hear that? I think it might be have been old Grandpappy crying out. <gasps> old Grandpappy. He seemed pretty feeble when we talked to him, but that was no feeble. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Do you think he's okay? <laughs> Look at all the trees. They're freaking out. Uh, just a uh, second, Grandpappy. Yeah. <laughs> just gotta uh, revitalize my flowers. And there it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got the fire flower. <laughs> now I just gotta do the mushroom. Uh, yes, I will. Thank you. Pouser in there. Uh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Very nice. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, that Nintendo and PC. It's the only thing I've ever had. Oh, oh. So, I think now's a good time to jump into PlayStation. Got the ray tracing and everything. Games look beautiful. And even Ghost of Tsushima. I can't wait to see the next generation. It's gonna be gorgeous. Oh no! A grandpappy! What are those? Are those Goombas? Yeah, but the paper mache Goombas. What do those paper mache Goombas do to you? Oh dear. I can't look. Poor thing, it's just a shell of himself. Hollowed out like some woodshop project gone wrong. I can't believe those horrible things banged up old Grandpappy and did this to him. They, they deserve to be chipped. Whoa, <laughs> taking it a little far there, ain't you? Um, Grandpappy, can you hear us? Oh, Grand Sappy. Oh, okay, I get it. Hey, <laughs> Grand Sappy, can you hear us? This doesn't look good. It was already creaky, now he's down right hollowed out! Haha, <laughs> good one, Olivia. Oh! I got an idea! Look closely at Mr. Grand Seppi's face! Doesn't it look like one of those holes? Yes, it does. Maybe it means you can. Yes, I will do that. I could have figured it out. Come on. Give me some credit, Olivia. Go, oh, that confetti! Like a nice little salve. <laughs> Restored. Huh? What happened? 
felt like some rapscallion was whipping me down again. Did I just dream it? <coughs> uh, I suppose that's just a memory going downhill. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Get it? Nuts. Acorns. <laughs> Grand Sap is back, y'all. Let's see, mustache. Check. Creepy eyebrows. Check. Check. It's all Grand Sap again. All right. Oh, thank you. He's still a shell of himself, but it's better than being a shell of a shell. We've got our precious elder back. Well, he's not hollow anymore, but does it seem like he could still be more energetic somehow? Take the seed, Grand Seppi. Hmm. Do you have something for me? What? <laughs> Munch on that. Mmm, feeling good. <laughs> Is it working? How do you feel? Yes. It's... It's doing something. Watch out now. Oh. Ooh, got a little musical number. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Sing it, Grand Come on. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, he's flipping huge. Wow, I was not expecting that. Looking good, Grand Sappy. I'm so happy for you. He's got to have a muscular voice now. Yes. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That little seed was all it took. Tightened up my timbers and put the funk back in my trunk. I'm young again. I see no need to keep y'all waiting any longer. Unless you want to run through that song and dance again. Um. <laughs> Shrubs, open up for my main mustache and his little lady here. <laughs> well, you got it. Oh, woohoo! We're heroes. Great, now we can keep making our way back to Peach's castle. Let's get a move on, Mario. I'm still pretty worried about your green family. Bye for now, Grand Sappy. Glad we could be of service. A woohoo! One of us. That is absolutely one of us. <laughs> Look at more. Does he drop like a ton of confetti? Drop some. Oh, I guess not. Thanks for everything, little ones. Good luck out there. Did it? <laughs> Just give him a little bit of a second. Whoa! Now that's what I'm talking about. Got some too. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Give me that confetti. Woo! All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me this time on Random Rice. I'm gonna save right here. I think that's a good time to stop. We've already been going for about an hour. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you come back. Join me again next time. Like I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about. Mario Vargas Llosa and the War of the End of the World. So, can't wait to see y'all, my intellectual gamers. I'll see you next time.